I want to take you back to a simpler time. A time when a man named Sinbad was at the top of his game. A time when we were still blessed with the gift of Phil Hartman in any movie he appeared in. A time when product placements were not afraid to be subtle in the slightest. A time known as 1995, when Sinbad and Phil Hartman were teamed in a film called House Guest. And it's one of what I call almost cult classics. House Guest is such a great film because it has such a simple comedy premise at its core. Like others in this series, I won't spoil too much about the film as I want those who haven't seen it to actually go watch it. The film centers around a man named Franklin, played by Sinbad. Franklin is a down on his luck entrepreneur who is trying to make it big in life with one failed scheme after another. Hi, 1994 baseball season, you know what I'm saying? I got King Griffey Jr. here, Barry Bond, Jose Canseco. People spend big money for baseball cards, but if they get hurt, it's even worth more money. Enter the most stereotypical mob henchman in film history. Polly, my people! Get out of the way! What's up, Polly? Hey, how you doing? I was, I was, Where's the dog? They are trying to collect a debt owed to them by Franklin for $5,000 which is now up to 50000 with interest. I want $50,000 tomorrow, or you're dead. You hear me? And don't even think about skipping town. That sounds fair. One way to Nassau, Bahamas. And your name? Clarence. Clarence Williams III. <laughs> yeah. The mobsters catch up with Franklin at the airport, but he narrowly escapes when he overhears a man, played by Phil Hartman, waiting to pick up a childhood friend he hasn't seen in decades. I told him I'd pick him up out here. What does he look like, Dad? Well, he's around my age. He's black. How tall is he, Daddy? I don't really know, baby. I mean, I haven't seen him in 25 years. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey! Derek? That, that's right! <laughs> it's me! Ah, it's you! Phil Hartman's character, Gary, believes that Franklin is actually Derek, his childhood friend from summer camp that he hasn't seen in decades. Franklin decides to hide out in the suburbs, pretending to be this Derek, to slow the mob from finding him. It's a classic case of mistaken identity, an otherwise usually formulaic comedy device that actually stays fresh thanks to its leads. That looks good. Can I try some? Sure, go ahead. Ooh. Oh! What is that? Puree of parsnip and crookneck squash. I thought it was nacho cheese. No, sir. Only vegetables for the vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian. One of my favorite scenes in this movie takes place after Franklin opens the luggage he stole from the airport, revealing a suit that bears an insignia reading GFH. He must wear this suit to a cocktail party that evening, explaining to guests what it means. Geeks for hire, it's a temporary service. You'd fit in, y'all would call us. Gas from humans. Girls from the hood. G-strings for the huge. Gotta feed the hungry. Girls feeding the homies. Is that a joke? Godliness, faithful and honest. Oh, 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 oh. Good, fine, and healthy. And baby, you it. Bam! You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> the comedy editing in this movie is just so tight, and it really brightens these scenes. Franklin's trying to fit in with high society just lends itself to such fun scenarios. Well, like Gary said, we have some, some dark wines and some light wines for dark and light people. <laughs> <laughs> to complicate things further, it turns out that Derek is a renowned dentist, a skill that Franklin is continually called upon to display. But... What do you think? Well, let me see that, doctor. Yeah, okay. Yes, that's much better than tying a string to a doorknob and just slamming it shut. <laughs> Derek is also a supposed vegetarian, a fact that Franklin is not too happy about. I don't know how you do it, Derek. I just don't think I could ever say no to a big, juicy cheeseburger. Just vegetables for me. But he soon stumbles upon the neighborhood McDonald's. And as I said earlier, the film is shameless in its product placement, but it actually works in this context. Uh, give me a Big Mac, a quarter pound of cheese, a quarter pound of cheese double, a Macaline Deluxe with cheese, a cheeseburger with cheese, and a large order of fries, and a large Coke. The movie isn't all mistaken identity hijinks, as Franklin's carefree approach to life actually starts to bring Gary's family closer together and he shows the once uptight Gary how to start living life a little. It goes without saying, but I just need to say it. 
Phil Hartman is terrific. He just took every role so seriously, even in a silly family comedy like this. Not only is he the perfect straight man to Sinbad, he's just a great actor, and you can't help but smile anytime he's on screen. Oh, Maple Ridge, oh, Maple Ridge, we come to you each summer. Oh, Maple Ridge, oh, Maple Ridge, where all our friends are brothers. We like to ride a horse It's silly, it's predictable, but it's a great little film. Thanks to Sinbad and Phil Hartman. If you grew up in the 80s or 90s and want to feel like a kid again yourself, be sure to give this one a watch.